This is a teardown of a NC brand vacuum, a hand vac that's model N6. And I got this unit for recycling. Uh, doesn't turn on or take a charge. Looks like this is where all the motor and stuff is based on its weight. Um, yeah, you can see the little fan for the vacuum in there. Nice little filter. Little stainless steel screen, or presumably stainless steel. All right, yeah, it's dusty. <laughs> it's not my dust, so that means it's gross. Not that my dust is ever particularly good. <laughs> but this is the battery housing. It makes some interesting claims. This camera would be kind enough to focus. 22.2 volts at 2200 milliamp hours, and it says 48.84 watt hours. I didn't do the math, but that doesn't seem right. Um, actually, no, that would be the math would be right. I feel like this uh, this whole assembly doesn't weigh much more than uh, one of my 12 volt drill batteries. <laughs> It says do not disassemble, which of course I'm going to ignore because I'm crazy like that. And it'll be interesting to see what's in here. We'll see what's required to pop this open. It does make me wonder if this uh, drill battery of mine says how many watt hours it is. Nope. Craftsman doesn't label it. There's probably three 18650s in here, so that's uh, oh, 3000 milliamp hours probably. But um, I'm not sure they get 12 volts in this pack. That's a whole other story. Because <laughs> 3.3 times, uh, or wait, no, 3.7 I think is the nominal voltage of uh, lithium ions. So. Like 3.7 times 3. 11.7. Either way, off topic. <laughs> well, this is going to be tricky, I see. And a thinner blade. I looked to see if there were batteries available to buy for this, but the t whole assembly is $60 for certified refurbished from the manufacturer on eBay, so this really isn't worth fixing. Oops. There we go. Ah. So there's the batteries. Looks like there's six 18650s in there. Let's see if I can. Ooh, just uh, everything's kind of falling apart. Should be somewhat careful with this. Two sets of wires. This wire's com set here is going to the switch and the in the handle. And these two are going to the power jack. I'm not sure what's going to be required break these loose. That was uh, easier than I thought. I just kind of banged it against the chair. Oh no. Don't want to short anything out. Because lithium ion batteries are scary when they short out. <laughs> this should just slide on out. This would be fairly easy to fix if you have experience with uh, charging and replacing lithium ion batteries since it's just individual cells oh man i think i'm gonna go grab a meter and just check for voltage real quick all right back with a meter let's see here this one 
is plus minus and PM minus. I'm not sure what those mean. I don't probably need to go that high. It's not fully charged, so it's not going to be at its 22 volts. Showing zero. Let's go less than 20 volts. Showing nothing. It is possible that these batteries are in a uh, sleep state since they're probably fully discharged. If they have um, some sort of battery management stuff on them, I guess I could probably go to the cells directly. Oh no, those exposed tabs. Both positive. I think these are in series. All right, we're just gonna be a little medieval. Don't like it too violent because I'm not equipped for uh, this kind of a fire. <laughs> I don't know if a regular fire extinguisher would put these out or not. But I do want to see. How do I get you to release? Oh, looks like I got to remove this little side panel thing here. Shouldn't be doing this with a screwdriver, but YOLO. And just push this to the side. Okay. Hmm. I really need to get. I need to remove this side trim piece. And I'm going to poke at this with a metal screwdriver. Whoop! There we go. I think that'll give me enough clearance. Yep, there it is. It's loose now. Gotta be careful. Actually, let me take that out. And now. Uh, hmm. Oh, alright. I'm gonna disconnect the power switch. Maybe. That's not gonna be deep enough, of course. Didn't look like it would be. I don't think this will be deep enough either. Nope. Alright, power switch stays. These are 3.7 volt cells. It's just standard lithium ion batteries. There's 618, 650s in there. Uh, Sun Power is the brand. Looks like 2200 milliamp hours. All right. Well, the rating that they put on here, they would be accurate. Seven of the or six of these cells in series. Uh, three point seven times six. Two. It's eighteen. Yeah, twenty-two point two volts at full charge. Technically, I think it's higher. I don't know. I think it's usually it's something around three point seven though. Um. Actually, one thing I really like about this is the little housing they have around these cells, little plastic pieces. <laughs> kind of scary, I don't like touching this. Let's see here. Just looking at the circuit board, so there's these tabs that are coming off the batteries. Should be in series. I'm just gonna Poke at these tabs. 7.26 volts. No volts. No volts. Let's see if I can figure out. 2.62. 3.61. Another tab there. Gotta be mindful of where I'm poking. Nothing there. I'm like touching these things. <laughs> so there's voltage, but this won't take a charge. So I don't really know what to do about that. If 
I could always hook it up to power and then uh, see what what happens when I plug it into its charger. But um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of uh, uh, lithium ion batteries when it comes to like handling them, just because they're kind of spooky. I should probably watch some safety stuff on them. <laughs> um, but I would assume on the other side of the circuit board is the charging circuit. Not sure what this wire is doing. The little tabs kind of go diagonally, and then this cell. As you can see, and then these just go straight, it looks like at least, straight across the other ends. Hmm, I don't know what I was expecting to see on the inside. I mean, I knew PB batteries and stuff, I guess, so, but, oops. Todd, thought I had voltage there previously. Here's 120 volts. There we go, I'm just not pushing hard enough. 7.26. Hmm. I'd have to really think about how these batteries are connected. They're in series, but uh, I don't fully understand the connection points. What I think they might be doing is they're breaking them out into pairs for charging purposes. Where's the power jack? Where's that going? That's going to here. Um, I don't think anything bad will happen if I short something out in continuity. Yep. Center positive, I guess that should have made sense. But, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it's only like $60 for one of these on eBay from uh, the manufacturer and certified refurbished one. So, it's not really worth risking my safety trying to fix it. It's probably not even a very good brand for all I know, which is probably why the thing only costs $60. At least the batteries aren't lying about their capacity. They're not 5,000 milliamp hour or whatever the liars like to say. Because I think 3,500 milliamp hour for that type of battery is as big as you can get. Hmm. Contacts on there. Oops. Got another face full of dust. Oh, okay. That's how that goes. Just curious to see how that contacts. Alright. Nope, one more screw. One thing I could do with this, is I could rig it up to work off my own power source. How does that... Oh, that's interesting. It has, uh... Uh, powered accessories. I didn't even know that. I got the accessories for it, but uh, yeah. Oh, Alright, so it connects through here, and these contact points are for powered accessories. Nice little uh, vibration dampener on the vacuum motor. Pretty well made looking. Ah, and there's the motor. The vacuum motor doesn't look too impressive. I guess there's really not much to these anyway, so it's just an impeller inside of a housing. So this is not speed regulated or anything like that. It's just all on or all off. 22 volts DC. 140 watts. Um, 40... That'd be like 0.7 amps, I believe. No. 
six and a half. Can't do that math in my head. 22 times 10 would be 220 watts. So yeah, probably somewhere like six and a half amps. Hmm. Yeah, those are all not too interesting inside there. Really, this uh, vibration dampener is the thing that I'm probably the most impressed with. But I'm guessing it might be too hard to figure out. Oh. It's interesting. Oh, all right, I understand now. I think. Oh. Huh. So they're sharing the positive, but it looks like they have two separate negatives. For one for the motor and one for the um, the accessory. Be interesting to feed this motor with some voltage and see what it sounds like. I don't know if I want to rig something like that up. Not gonna be easy, at least. I'm trying to think of. I can go grab a bench power supply. All right, well, I decided I did not want to blow up one of my bench power supplies because I looked at their ratings. And if this pulls more than two and a half, or well, actually no, the power supply is only good for half an amp up for the 20 volt range. So I'm taking this HP laptop power supply I don't care about, and I'm doing some really sketchy stuff with wires. Whoops. Using a cut up extension cord and I'm going to manually run the wires to it. What could go wrong? This is going to make me jumpy when I plug it, or not plug it in, but <laughs> touch the wires to it. So what I'm going to do nuts, is I'm just going to take the wires and I'm going to hand hold them into place. Let's see if I can do this without starting anything on fire. All right, just, uh, <laughs> this is super jank. Should be center positive. Make sure there's no straight wires. Also make sure I don't short stuff out. And let's just check to see if my abomination Actually, it's going to be center positive. It is uh, putting out voltage. Yep. Well, safety glasses on. If I scream like a girl, my apologies, but uh, arky sparky. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Sparks make me jumpy. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm probably shorting it out to the frame accidentally. Nope. Oh, well, I just pulled out the wire too. Maybe not the best idea, but hey, it's for science. I may have uh, tripped the uh, laptop power supplies protection circuitry. Because it was not meant to do silly things like this. Although it's a 65 watt power supply, so it's uh, kind of close. All right. <laughs> nice to have voltage. Center positive. It's weird. It uh, it tries to spin. It's like it gets stuck. So I don't know if maybe there's some other oddities that are involved with the uh, battery. Maybe this is a motor that requires being pulsed or something, but. Either way, definitely not worth the time to fix. It'll get recycled and uh, I'll move on. So, 
Hopefully that was interesting and thanks for watching.